Now with Damien Lee on Wave FM 96.5. Emma McKean. Oh, gee. Yeah. But she brought our entire family together. Whenever they, whenever they mention the words on, on the Olympic coverage, Emma McKean, the countdown to her swim five minutes oh, ago, yeah. our kids ran from every room in the yes. house just to sit down to watch her. And that's exactly what she's brought. Look, uh, her brother David McKean is on the blower right now. Uh, David, great to have you back on the show again, mate. Uh, as a family, you guys, what is that feeling for you guys now? Um, I guess it's still a little bit surreal. Um, it's... You know, it's been a massive, massive week and and everything like that. And uh, you know, just um, we have, we've only spoken to Emma for probably about five minutes uh, yesterday afternoon um, during the entire time. But you know, we're so so proud of her, and she's done an absolutely incredible job. Yeah, wow. Oh, she has. And, and talking about you know, all families getting together in the lounge room to watch Emma McKean swim. I mean, your family were all together. I don't know how you fit in your lounge room because there's a lot of you and let's just say you're, you're all in a good paddock. You're pretty tall, but you're all in the lounge room together. You've all got your green and gold on and what I love the most is your mum, Susie. She's just cheering before they even start the race. Come on, Emma! Go! Go, Emma! Go, Emma! Go! 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 Dance move that's going to be seen on the dance floors in Wollongong when we're out of lockdown. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it, it was pretty incredible. Uh, yes, yeah, we're absolutely speechless, all of us, and yeah, we know what to say. And yeah, the Illawarra has given Emma so much support as well. It's it's absolutely amazing. I mean, uh, like she's currently tallied, I think. 13th in the world, uh, <laughs> like versus other countries. Um, you know, as, as her medal tally, it's, and, and we just found out this morning that uh, they're, they're going to have a stamp, the one dollar ten stamp featuring her. That that's got to be a surreal moment as well. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. You get a um, every gold medalist at the Olympics gets a stamp. So, no matter if you're part of a relay team or individual, you get a, a stamp for each month. So. Oh, um, she'll get cool. four from this Olympics with the relays and the two individuals, yeah. so yeah. Um, yep. pretty cool. But the odd yeah. thing is, David, mate, you never want to send a letter because if you do and you get an Emma stamp, you'll be licking the back of your sister's head to put it on an envelope, yeah. mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've sent, sent a letter in, in, in many years. So. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What a great <laughs> collectible, mate. What a great collectible. And as Jade said, you know, it's been years and years oh. of looking at that black line. Oh, like just even the commitment from your parents. Like, how many hours was your mum like every morning getting you up at what, like four a.m. to take you to swim? Uh, well, I think it was mum. Um, well, dad was doing the taking us to training because he was he was our coach here in Wollongong. Oh. Um, and you know, mum would have dinner ready when we got home from training um, in the evenings and and things like that. But yeah, it's been a it's been a massive family thing, and that's what it is. It's a family thing for us, and yeah, it's it's many many years of training. You know, it comes down to the past eight days or so, or, you know, each of those eight days, each time, there's no, a minute or less than a minute to perform um, after, you know, years and years of training. So, yeah. you know, she's, the pressure didn't get to her and she, you know, she just took it in her stride and she just, you know, she showed up and there's a little bit of footage after the 50. She said, you know, we came here to get the gold and, um, you know, she certainly did get the gold. That's yeah. for sure. 